What up gamers, I'm Jason and today on Dyson Dragons, I'm going to be unboxing Etherfields by Awaken Realms. This is designed by Michael Arrakis. Hopefully I pronounced that right. If you happen to see the video, please let me know if I got the names wrong. Also, I wanna name the artist because the art is absolutely fantastic in this. So we have Piotr Gassik, Michael, or Mikal Salata, and Iwa Labek. Hopefully I said all those correctly as well. So what is the Etherfields? Well, this is a narrative game where you're going to be experiencing a set of unique dreams as well as tactical encounters as you go through this crazy, awesome, dreamlike experience. Now the game is for one to four players, but as you can see over here, we do have the fifth player expansion so you can play with even more players and you get a whole new character as well. Now, with that being said, we have a lot of content here, including the play mat, which isn't on camera. So let's dive in and see what's in these boxes. Now we're gonna take a look at what's in the box for the ether field. So I will slide this over and get the top off. I just love everything from Awakened Realms. Even the boxes feel like they have this great premium value. So I'll put the top off to the side and we pretty much have everything on camera. Now, before we get into what is in the box, I did want to show you a nice surprise that we got, which was this ISS Vanguard promo pack, as well as some other stuff related to Etherfields as well. So this was a surprise that came in the packaging. Was absolutely not expecting it at all. So let's take a quick look. I had already taken a look at it. So you actually do get like a tag for X Fortune de Veritas. This is for the ISS Vanguard saying that you're a crew member. I think that's pretty cool. Now we do have a thank you letter to, to backers for the uh, Etherfields, which is a nice touch that no other company does and really love what they do. So just explains what the extra content is. It also details what stretch goals were included already in the box. So very cool. And then just a notice as to how we can get our replacements if there are any issues with the miniatures. Once again, going above and beyond with regards to the production. So this is also some more information just about what was included from the stretch goals into this first wave that was just delivered. So I know it's not all that interesting, but uh, I really wanted to cover that because it's a real nice touch. So with ISN Vanguard, you get this book that just explains a little bit about the world, has sort of this prequel story, and it's something I'm definitely gonna go through. It also explains the game system. So I really like the production value. I mean, if you think about it, these books typically retail for about $20. So here we've got the game manual. So it has all the instructions and lists of components, how to set up the game, basic rules, pretty cool stuff. I'm looking forward to diving into this. Always love the fact that there's a rule summary. So here we've got the secret scripts for Etherfields. So this is what was added as the stretch goals. Well, not all of them, but the 48. So you don't want to go through this. It has spoilers. Now here we've got the board for Etherfields. And if you're like me, you also picked up the playmat. So you can see the locations on the board. Now we'll open it up and give you a look, but I don't want to spend too much time because I'm going to showcase the playmat so you're going to end up seeing it anyway. And this is a large board. I'm just going to do my best to showcase it. You'll also see it as I fold it back up and put it off to the side. So that is the board that comes with the game. We do have these folders which look like they're sleeves for cards. I'm not quite sure how they're gonna come into play. Here we've got the tokens. Now, one thing I do not like, like I get why they do this, but I absolutely despise having tokens in any extra plastic, but it does make packaging, especially from uh, factories, a lot easier than it is if they were uh, separated. 
All right, so let's take a look at what we have for all of the punch boards. So we've got these, move it this way because uh, we just had the lettering down there. I didn't show, know if we had any details. Hate, chaos, different emotions, false, tough, luck, dark, cool, haste, fear. Now we've got our player characters with some of their tokens, what it looks like over here. The gambler, the free spirit, specialist, tough guy, another gambler, the other versions of the gambler and the free spirit. We've got the tough guy and the specialist. And then we've got some more tokens. Here we've got a few different hidden sleeves. Not sure how these come into play as of yet. We'll move this plastic off to the side. I do like the fact that we've got foam to protect the cards. Now before we look at the cards, let's take a look at the miniatures. So here we've got the minis that are included in the game. Over here, it looks like we've got our main characters in their first form. So here is the free spirit. And they fit back in fairly easily. Looks like we've got the tough guy. Oh, this is the gambler. I'm trying to remember who we got here. Sorry, the specialist is who we've got. This is the tough guy who has a very cool miniature. And here we've got our gambler. I've got some of the monsters. I don't know the name of the monsters, so I'm just going to take them out and showcase them. I probably won't be able to name all the monsters. I'm gonna to try to go through the cards a little faster than I normally go through on an unboxing. A lot of the unboxings that I do, I do know the content fairly well. It's often for expansion, so they may not be the shortest, but you get plenty of detail. I want to do the opposite with Etherfields. I love the fact that we have a top hat penguin. Like that's just, best some more monsters once again all the details great of the fact that there is even some detail on the bases here this guy looks awesome especially walking around with this crazy lamppost here we've got this almost shaman like creature here we've got a wolf just wolf like and up here we've got this crazy altar of human hands and lastly this altar of faces so very cool stuff that we've got for the minis I'll put the tray down here and let's take a look so here we've got the other forms so this looks to be the specialist right here. Some similarities looks, I think this is the dream form. Now this is definitely one of the, the big bad or whatever's going on in the dream world. We'll see the name of the character, but just a fantastic mini, so much detail. Not quite sure how they got it all together, but just love everything they do. It's also very hard to uh, rebox their game just because of how beautiful the minis are as well as the inserts. Here we've got what looks to be, well, maybe that was a tough guy, actually. I think this is the uh, specialist right here. Oh, maybe not, maybe, yeah. That could have been one of the villains, actually. Tricky to get them back in. This, I believe, was the free spirit in their dream form. Here we've got the tough guy, who looks absolutely fantastic in this mini. And lastly, I'm being very careful because I don't want to damage this and it's a little tricky on the unboxing. We've got what looks to be, yeah, with these like almost dreamlike card things, our gambler. So let's put the minis back in. Definitely want to focus on putting them in by the base. We'll get this put back over the top. And here we go. So we do have 
some tokens. I'm not going to take them out of the, the packaging. So beautiful plastic tokens. We have some bases for different things. Some more tokens. Red, white. Let's see what else we got. So these look to be, I believe they're related to some of the dreams. These blue ones here are crystals. And here we've got the dice. So we're gonna put these back as they're fairly standard components for games. We'll take a quick look at the crystals only because they're very different than what we've seen in other games. So nice, big, high quality crystal. Put the bases back in. We'll actually take a look at these because they're different. We're gonna take a look at the dice. So we've got the dice that we're gonna be rolling with a slew of different symbols, ones that I don't recognize as I've not read the rule book as of yet. So we'll take a quick look at these and then we'll start diving into the cards. But there are a lot of cards. So we're probably not gonna open up all the packs like I've done on other unboxings. I really wanna to try to keep this one down to a manageable amount of time. We've already been taking a look at these components for probably close to about 10 minutes now. And I don't really want to go much over that 15 minute mark. So good quality components. What we'll probably do is we'll take a look at a few of the different decks and then I will leave the others unopened, but we'll show you what we have for the uh, unopened uh, packages. So I do love the fact that we're getting these high quality plastic tokens. So, but it looks like these definitely have to do with the players as we seem to get one per player. So we'll start over here. So these are dividers for the ether fields. I'm not going to take them out. It'll just let us sort some stuff. And these are secret packages. So we're not gonna open them up. So they're in order one, two, three, and four. So we definitely won't peek at that. We'll take a look at this first pack of cards. So what we have, so we've got the cards for the free spirit. We then have a dreamer's death card, flaws, fate, items, and turn cards. Let's take a look at these for turn steps. So these are items, beautiful art across everything. Jelly legs, so these look to be different flaws, numbing fear. These look to be the uh, Dreamer's Death related cards, progress. Then, oh, we've got some of the Gambler's cards in here. I was about to say these seem more like Gambler's. So we got cards for the Gambler. As well as some cards for the Free Spirit. So. So you can see there's a mix of cards in all the different packages. I'm gonna pull out a chunk of them. I'll put this one back there and we'll just take a quick look and see. So we've got some more influence. Influence, it's clear that we've got equipment, wisdom. So a lot of these cards are mixed up. It'll take a while to go through and actually figure out where everything goes. But you get a nice idea as to what you're getting in the game. There'll be more fake cards. Later on, wisdom, shopping cards, no more. Not sure what these are, but it could be related to laying some stuff out on the board. So lots of cards that we have in the game. We're gonna put this back. Let's take a look over here. And we've got some more dividers so we can organize everything. Let's take a look at one of these packs. Actually, we're not gonna open up the packs because these are fairly straightforward. These are the location tiles that'll be coming out onto the board. There's some large spaces for them representing the different dreams and locations that we're gonna be going to. So we've got a lot of them. Actually, we'll, we'll open up one of the packs, but let's take a look at all of them first. I'll even have some different enemies that we might encounter, giant rats. Very cool. I really like this idea Waking Realms has come up with in terms of using like cards and tiles for, for different things. So gate to the arena. So it's like these are some special areas. I fight some dreadful spiders, slumber. Be interested to see. Definitely glad I'm not opening everything up because I get a feeling that if I did, 
I probably have some spoilers for people and that's not necessarily what you wanna have on an unboxing. Now, just a little bit behind the scenes, I did film this a little out of order. I took a quick peek at the fifth player pack first. So you might see a little bit inside the secret pack when we get to that part of the video. So there's some cool locations. Pandemonium looks like some of those symbols we saw on the dice. Box night, really cool stuff. High quality, love the gloss and the finish. I mean, the one thing I have to say about Awakened Realms, which is always true, when you pick up one of their games, everything that you spend is definitely in the production value of the game and is quite visible. So you've taken a look now and you've seen what's in the main box for Etherfields. We'll take a look at the playmat next. After that, we'll take a look at the creature pack and then we'll end it with the fifth player expansion before I come back at you with my outro. So keep it right here as we're gonna start taking a look at the playmat. Now we're gonna take a look at the playmat included with Etherfield. So I'm gonna roll it out here and I'm gonna do my best to slide it around and show you what you're getting because it's rather large and even if I zoomed out on the camera, you wouldn't get to see the full details. I wanna highlight the nice stitching on the edge. Colors are very clear and vibrant. So we've got all the different spaces. This definitely looks like it is a solid replacement for the board. Really love the overall feel of the mat and just the presentation that they got. We'll slide this up so that you can see the bottom edge here. And it looks like I do have it slightly upside down, but that's not that big of a deal. I think it just depends on whatever orientation when you're playing it, but let's just move it around so we got the proper orientation. Gives me a little bit more time to show off the mat and manipulate it. So there you have it. This is the play mat that you're gonna be getting for Etherfields. It's a beautiful mat. I love the quality of it. Can't wait to get the one that I purchased with Tainted Grail to just even, uh, well, enhance the experience with that game, but really happy with the quality. So keep it right here as we're gonna be continuing on with this unboxing as this is the all-in wave one unboxing. So we're gonna be coming back at you with the creatures pack for Etherfields. Now we're gonna take a look at the creatures of Etherfields. Now, I'm not sure that I know the names of all of them, but we do have some very cool creatures here. So. I do love the fact that we get this sheet. Huh, that's really neat. I never realized I actually had the empty guide for you. I'm gonna move that off camera actually. Probably just the best way to keep it in good shape. Love the plastic that has the emblazoned Etherfields. And let's take a look at these really cool and freaky creature miniatures. So we've got this awesome clockwork like Scarecrow slash gunman almost it looks like. Well, not really a gunman, but just kind of reminds me of that lone gunslinger. It doesn't want to come out, but you've got this freaky guy with a scythe and a beak. Lots of detail. I can only imagine how great this stuff has to look with the, uh, the sun drop on it. It's just something that was out of my price range. We've got this really cool Maiden, this interesting, um, not really a gargoyle, but this bird with a face. Definitely all of this stuff is something that comes out of uh, dreams and nightmares. It's a really interesting stag with a face. Actually reminds me of Princess Mononoke for those that may have seen the movie. I'm actually gonna bring this back into the center since I'm not putting anything down. Here we've got this goddess. Great feel to it. Here we've got this crazy thing that makes me think almost like a camel, but not. Um, it's got a dog-like appearance as well. Oof. Careful there, huh? You saw the way the mini bent. Make sure you're putting it back in the right spot. You don't want to break anything. Try to get the next two out at the same time. So we've got these two freaky creatures. Love the wings and the detail on the wings and how it's like 
very much inspired by the forest. I'm really curious as to if in a full playthrough of the game we're going to run into all of these different uh, creatures. Let's put them back in. Definitely as like I said earlier, start with the base. Just want to take a look at this one because this almost looks like a it's maiden. She looks like a knight, but not quite very, very twisted by this dream world. Here it looks like we have a human being swallowed up by his fears or some demon from the other side. This, this mini doesn't really want to go back exactly the same way, but I'm trying to see how. I think that's going to be as close as I can get it. Oh, that's definitely a nightmare of all your clothes <laughs> going all over the place and mom making you clean it up. Here we've got this sing freaky singing guy. Very cool. You have a cross between a frog and a butterfly, something I never want to see and definitely not in my dreams. Don't know why, just don't like it. Here we've got this crazy clockwork machine that also has some organic elements to it. We've got this strange mutated rodent. Once again, you can see a lot of the detail that's just put on the base of the mini as well. Something I love that they do. Let's see if we can get this one does not want to come out. Cool. If this was in the wardrobe and the line the witch in the wardrobe, the movie would have been well, not the movie, the book series would have ended very quickly. So this hound does not want to come out. Oof. Looks like He's almost stuck inside the packaging. Ah, there we go. So we have a definitely a dream hound with some cool effects on him. So as you saw, he was not the easiest to get out. So I don't think I'll put him in quite all the way. We've got this watchman who seems to be one of the most normal things we have in this creature box. Here we have I don't even know how to describe it. It's, yeah, it's a person that's almost mutating into an animal. We've got someone that looks very similar to our free spirit with some bird elements to that, maybe tied in directly to our story. And here we've got that cardboard box that we all fought as kids come to life. I love how we have these nightmarish visions and then a few things that are very much callbacks to our childhoods. So there you have it. We have the creatures of Etherfields. Now keep it right here as I'll be unboxing the fifth player expansion. So be back in a flash. Now we're gonna take a look at the fifth player expansion for Etherfields. I love the color of the box. It's absolutely beautiful. Too bad I'm gonna be trying to uh, condense everything. So I'll slide the box over. So here we have the Reaper fifth player character. So we've got the player board with the tokens. Then we've got the other version of their player board with their tokens as well. And in here we have the two miniatures as well as some of the other components. So this definitely looks to be like a standee, not quite sure what this is for as of yet. As you, you know, I'm just unboxing the game. We've got Three more tokens for the player. Let's take a look at Reaper's miniatures. They're just beautiful, so much detail. I think this might actually be the character that I pick uh, when I play the game, just because I absolutely love the look of the character. So very cool. Now let's take a look at what we have for the cards. Luckily with Awakened Realms, so it's not that difficult to get open ever, so. That's always nice. They always have it just loose enough. So we've got the influence cards, Ether, First Memories, then Reaper's deck of cards. 
So I'm just making sure that we don't have anything else. So we'll take a look at that. Reaper's cards. Absolutely love the art that we're getting here. Yeah, so still her cards. The other. And then these cards are the different influence cards, rapid progression. Just absolutely gorgeous. Really love everything about the production value of the game. And to think that uh, I almost didn't back it. What a mistake that is looking like it would have been with all this great content that we have for the game. Uh, see, do not open this deck until you unlock this secret mode. So we have a secret deck here. So we're, we're not going to really showcase anything. We'll just see like, looks like new influence stuff. So hey guys, I was doing an unboxing. I opened it. I'll get this sorted and put away in such a way that I don't uh, <laughs> lose it. But let's get everything back in the box. You saw what we wanted to show you for the uh, fifth player expansion. So we do it. You do have plenty of room to keep this box if you want. I mean, you can definitely fit the player boards in actually. Let's just go ahead and punch the stuff out because I want to see how this is all going to fit. And I left that uh, silica gel pack, so kind of want to get rid of that. I just absolutely love the production value of everything uh, Awakened Realms. Even just punching this cardboard, it feels good. I love the component quality. So let's get this opened back up quickly. And I just want to see how this fits. Yeah, so the player boards fit in here perfectly, which is really nice. It's really cool added value that you're getting. Got a nice spot to fit the components. Don't worry, I'll get those all properly stored. But just for the sake of space, eventually, probably not now, probably when the rest of the game comes, this box will have to go. But I love the art. Maybe it'll get mounted on the wall or something. Now, keep it right here. We've finished our unboxing of Etherfields, the first wave of the of the all-in content. So I'll be coming back at you with a quick outro. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. If you like what you saw, don't forget to click the like button, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when our next video is released. Also, down below in the video description, you will find links to all of our social media feeds, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. So you'll be able to see when Julie and I get the ether fields to the table. There'll be plenty of pictures of us playing the game. We also have some pictures of other Awakened Realms games that we've played on those feeds. Now popping up in front of me, you're gonna see a link to our most recently released video on this side. And over here, we'll take you back to our review of Tainted Grail, another Awakened Realms game, to eventually be replaced by our review of at their fields. And if you like this unboxing, well, this was the wave one all in unboxing. So we have a whole nother wave of stuff coming and we'll be unboxing that as well. And until then, don't forget, keep playing games.